So uh, now I will show you the method. I will show you which materials I use for Mazar University. I will make another video to talk about more generally about how to study anatomy for every other university. I will, I will tell you what to use, what probably you should not use. It doesn't so that it helps so much. And how to study. Because you want to have good grades, you want to know, you want to have knowledge, you want to pass the exams, and at the same time you want to have a life. So you have to find the midpoint for that. And I will tell you this story. I'm not going to tell you this story. <laughs> okay, so let's see. The, here I have, this, ah, uh, for this year there is also one more book, The Memory X Anatomy. I read some chapters, it's a really good book. I'm going to refer first to the books I, I use. And then I will tell you something about memories because memories has only one problem. So these are the three books. Actually, um, this is one of them is double. Here, Anatomy Locomotor. I really believe that this book is a treasure. It's a treasure information, like the information that I written here. You see, like how I did mine. Is a really precious because it says like except of like the bone and what features you have in it and which muscle does not attach in these in which features, then it has also like foramen ovale and tells you from what foramen ovale passing this and this and this foramen spinosum passing this blah blah. This you cannot find in many books and I think this is why I think it's a treasure, but not by itself. I'm gonna tell you about that later. Now we have two books. The old one, written about Hannah Nerutova, Lehutova, I'm sorry, which is a really lot. This is what I studied when I was studying anatomy. The next year, 2015, if I'm not wrong, 2014 actually, 2014, it came out this book. Not this book, actually this one, which is made from the uh, Ivana Hradilova, Mikhaila Rachanska, and Petru Dubov. Look, what's the difference? This one, is a translation of a Czech book written by Dr. Paz, who was before Petru Dubov, the head of the department. This one is wrote by the department. The difference, and uh, I, I cannot say that which one is better, is what kind of book you like, you know. This one is whole text, like you will find. The lymphatic vessel draining the lymph towards a number of groups uh, of the lymphatic nodes. This is the first time I read this chapter because I've been reading the lymph nodes. You have to read it, but I didn't read it from here. Okay, so, but this one is like with points. You will see, like, bam, 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 bam. I, myself, prefer these kind of books because I want to read through, you know, find the important stuff, distillate the books. It's already distillated. It's like, I, I like to drink wine, I like to drink vodka. This is your choice. Then we have the third book, this one. Gross anatomy and structure of the human nervous system. And here comes the big problems. You know, this was written by Petr Dubovic. Who is examining Petr Dubovic? What should I read if I'm smart? Petr Dubovic. But the book is not good. <laughs> it's true. Like everyone knows. It's like a common truth around that this book is not good. Uh, there are some schemes here which is mm, better, but the English of the book and the, the, some information are a bit confusing. But we had to read it. I read it. I read the whole book. And also uh, I will tell you more things about how to, to use this book. But the truth is that it's not a good book. I think they did the revision of this one and I think it's better. But uh, my opinion is just like... I think may, maybe you have to read it. May, uh, um, I'm sorry that I'm saying that, but there is a way you have to read it, I think. The, we, will, we will talk about it soon. Okay, now, we have these small books. I have a hand locomotor. Why this book is good? And I'm gonna answer you after it. This is, is good, locomotor system, for the first day section. Because it's portable, you don't have it in your lap like there. This is actually also the most lost book, uh, lost and found book in the anatomy department. It's very small, you can put it in your lap, you can put it easily, but it's very helpful because you know like you have the you are arguing with your friend, very common that you're arguing with your friend. What is the insertion of a inferior uh, infraspinatus muscle in the scapula? You open the book, you see the, the picture, and then you go to the number and you find the answer. It's really easy. 
but uh, for an exam, studying for the exam, not for the dissection, but for the exam, I wouldn't recommend that. You have the anatomy locomotor, this is like the full information are there. But what is not there is in an atlas. So the question is which atlas? We have Sobota, this is a new way that they do them now, like in three parts, head and neck and uh, let me see because I remember. Head and neck in your anatomy and general anatomy of musculoskeletal system and they tell on organs. But I, I, I bought it in this form. This is my girlfriend's form. I bought it in this form, the whole three types are together. So which atlas? Ah, and we have here also the atlas of uh, Netter in Spanish because I, I didn't have it, I bought it from the library. Okay, uh, between these three, what do I recommend? I recommend both. I'm gonna tell you in which way. You should buy one atlas for sure. For me, in my opinion, it's net. It's <coughs> netter, I'm sorry. Netter. But why netter? Because in contra netters, in contrast with with uh, Sobota, has massive pictures, like pictures that are showing a lot of stuff together. You see, like here, you see the, the abdomen, you see everything all together. On the other hand, Sobota is very strange in a, it's more analyzing. You see the picture, it's bam, this picture you can never find. It's only the temporal bone. Only the temporal bone. This picture you cannot easily find. But that's way I'm saying to you, yeah, that you should rent, um, rent I'm sorry, I, I borrow the borrow the Sobota from the library if you can find it and buy an egg. I'm gonna tell you in the in, 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 in uh, later why netter is important to have it. Okay, now that we finish from Sobota, I told you what to do with that and and netter. Uh, then we go to the Grace Anatomy. That's interesting stuff because I read the whole Grace Anatomy actually. Oh my god, I haven't seen that for ages. Eh? Look at this. Really bad. So, I read the whole Grace Anatomy and what I can say about that? Grey's Anatomy is not for this university. It is, if you've never seen a body before and you know nothing, you can use it as a basis and then read the other books of the university to get the extra information. But Grey's Anatomy by itself is not enough. By far it's not enough. I'm sure about it, it's not enough for the robot, it's not enough for the or uh, for the oral examination after the robot. So what? How you can? If you have it, uh, if if I'm saying if you should buy it, don't buy it. But if you have it already for some reason, like my father gave me, I said because he saw Grace Anatomy, and I said that's a good reason, Grace Anatomy, like the series, to buy him this book. Then I then you can use it as like a, a summary, and it's not bad. I I use it like that. I read through once, really easily readable. It's a good book, it's not a bad book, but it's not enough deep as a univer our university has. For example, for other universities, this, this, this can be a good book. But for our university, the depth that our university is focusing on, this is not enough. Flaskers, why not to use them? No, not bad in general for other universities, but for our universities, we have the book. We see origin, generation, innovation, function, bam. We don't need anything more. The, you, so you don't need this, this flashcard. So don't don't go and buy it for no reason. So done with the locomotor. I told you about the locomotor. Borrow it. Don't buy it. Or buy or buy it second hand. So let's go. Which books not to buy? Like definitely before I was this book. You know when you are in the in the first year or second year in the winter semester. And you see someone selling this book in the buy and sell in Brno, and you say, mm, you know, knowledge goes by the books you buy. Big mistake. This gave me absolutely nothing except of one kilo of paper in my bookshelf. Bookshelf. So don't buy it. This one is similar example, but on the other way. When your father thinks, oh, my son is having anatomy, how he's gonna learn more anatomy if, he, if I buy him more books? So, bam, human anatomy. But this book was not completely bad, for one reason. It had a, I'm gonna show you a classic picture and that I 
It has good pictures. Like it's kind of combined with a bit of histology. It's combined with a bit of histology, but it had it had really good pictures in some points. Uh, I'm trying to find one good one. But, mm, yes, uh, I cannot show it, but it shows uh, like cadavers also used for dissection. I use it a bit for dissection. It's true. It's not the worst book I've ever seen, but the other one was a bit bad. Was a bit bad. Okay, now let's go to see something else. In the in anatomy, you have the last part, regional anatomy, the group D. Mm. This group D in my ages was different because everyone said, okay, if you know very well group A, group B, and group C, you can pass. We don't need anything else. So, uh, it's not absolutely true. I mean, you might know all the nerves passing from the eye, but it's difficult to combine them all together. And except of that, studying group D, it's a really good revision. If, you say, if someone tells you, skin, Bam! Subcutaneous tissue, first muscle, second muscle, third muscle, then it's passing this artery, then you remove this muscle with having this other nerve passing through. So, this way is good for revising. And except of that, if you go to the exam and you, you have the median nerve and you say it goes and it gives this branch and then it gives the other branch and then it gives this branch and then it's passing this muscle, what do you think you're gonna get? F beep A! A. Mm, mm, error. So the, this book is good for that. The picture, the picture is really good. And believe it or not, I the first time I saw it, I didn't believe it. It was written by by Czech by Czech uh, authors. I don't guess from uh, Charles University. Seems like it's something else. Galendo. I don't know what it is. But it's a really good book. I like it. You can, you can learn a lot of stuff. And it's really good for revision. I think that most of my friends is what they did. They studied everything first and then they did revision through this book. Now, let's see uh, another one. Really important. I bought it. It's this one. Instant Anatomy. Why? Amazing pictures. Look at this. I think it's a fabulous nerve. No. Yes. Yes. It is a fabulous nerve. It shows you all the brands. It even more ice schemes. You can. You, it really helps you in the in, instead of using this one. Not instead, but uh, together. Because this one doesn't refer to cranial nerves so much, but this one has very well the cranial nerves. So this is about the material. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to repeat just the important information about the material. Is that you need one atlas, which I recommend Netter because it has all the pictures together. I'm gonna, in the next video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you need that. Now, like, now is the time for an anatomy exam. And then you, you can borrow Sobota, just to check the bones and some small details. You can find on me Sobota, not in Netter. But I recommend Netter, I think Netter is better. And I had, and I myself, I had Sobota, because I didn't know about it. Now that I know, I knew, if I had kids and they have to choose between Sobota or Netter, I would take them Netter, straight Netter. So, this is about uh, Atlas. So, for our university, Master University, I told you, the, the books of the university are very deep. Now, one more thing. This year, you have Memorix. I told you that I'm going to talk about it. You have Memorix. Memorix is a really good book. It's not, it's, it's not bad at all. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just a bit afraid. I'm just a bit cautious with, the, with this book. Because I don't know if you know, but we are, we are practicing evidence-based medicine. It means that everything that we use in medicine, it's, it's because of there is some evidence behind that supports that it's good for the health of the, of the patient. So, the problem with the memory is that it hasn't been tested yet. So, it, is, it seems like good, the information are good there. It's written by professors in Charles University, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work here. But I would recommend it. I would read it. If I were you, I would read Memorix Anatomy. It seems like a really good, good, good book, has good pictures in, co in combination with a, with a good atlas. It seems like it's gonna be a good idea. But one thing, remember the robot. Who makes our robot? It's not made by, it's not made by the Charles University professor. It's made from our professor here. And what the professor here did, they were really smart and they wrote the book for the for our university so keep that in mind one idea is 
you can read through the book of university and maybe don't understand so many things but probably the question is gonna be from here or you study more it's anatomy and you understand a lot of things I think it's, I think it's better than our book but you might not get exactly the same you know you're gonna tell me that anatomy is one subject okay this depends from person to person the one that I don't recommend at all because you're not gonna understand anything and this is not helpful for anyone is this but it's up to you. So we talked about the uh, atlas. We talked about the textbook. Um, by the way, those of you that have clinically oriented, uh, uh, I don't remember the second name because I don't have this book. It's a really good book. It's a actually it's a really good book, but I think that it's similar with memory. It's a similar situation. So have atlas. What do you need, in my opinion, instant anatomy and regional anatomy for group B. And that's everything. Important thing. Okay, I'm gonna talk about that in the next video. Thank you very much. See you soon. Good luck with everything. So I'm gonna tell you some tips that now that you are like close to your exam, you should do just to get more perfect with less hours. Maybe you don't wanna do something else, but you have to learn how to use the hours correctly. 